Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Jesse Jackson III, best-selling author and facilitator of the Don't Kick Em Out book and training series uh, and lead advisor and consultant here at the Best Man Company, LLC. want to talk to us about the distinguishing differences between classroom management and student management. For the most part, uh, a lot of times we're getting classroom managed. Both of them are disciplines and they both need to be taught. A lot of times we, we, we need to understand foundationally classroom management uh, is about system. It is about planning and preparation. Managing the classroom, lesson planning, has a big part to do with classroom management. It's not taught that way. We, you know, when we hear classroom management, we automatically go to uh, uh, behavior. That's not accurate. That's totally off. There's classroom management and there's student management. And the average teacher is really struggling with student management. And that's a discipline in itself. That's a totally different training. So when you have your models, you have models that manage the classroom process, like restorative is managing the classroom process. Where the t many teachers are struggling is they can't manage the personality of the kid. Right. They can't manage that. And that's where the losses are occurring. So if you say to the teacher, you're the administrator of your classroom and then you you get a still a high amount of referrals. Well, you shouldn't be shocked because the differentiation between those two have not been done. That, that has not been made. So the thing I wanted to really help us with this, when you start dealing with things like student management, classroom management is about effective policy structure of your classroom, the planning process, that's the infrastructure. And also classroom management is about team. What well, a lot of schools and campuses really struggle because everybody's not saying the same thing. Behavior is a team sport. And if everybody's not on the same page, everybody's not running the same program, you take something that's totally egregious, right? That campuses are going through today. Hoodies. Now, I don't, listen, I, 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 I can take off about hoodies, right? I don't even like, I don't even like that it's brought up. But for the sake of discussion, most all campuses I've been to has a policy, no hoodies. However, it seems like the hardest thing to enforce. Most campuses I know have a policy about cell phones. Once again, I don't know how it's the hardest thing to enforce, but it is. Why? Because... The adults will not do and say the same thing. Okay. So classroom management and successful discipline practices are all about, all about team. That's classroom management. Team. We're not doing that. Student management comes down to personality. Personality and practice. One, are you consistent? Will you follow through? Two, are you good at communication? Right, right. Communication is not only our words, it's our body language, our level tone, our ability to listen and also be clear. Clear boundaries. Are your boundaries clear? Confrontation. Are you willing to confront the behavior in your class? We find out the average teacher does not like confrontation. So, if you're not willing to confront the behavior that's in front of you, right, if you're not willing to confront the cell phone, if you're not willing to confront the hoodie, say, take your hood off, put your phone away, give me your phone, tuck it in here. That's confrontation. Confrontation is, is a necessary relationship uh, characteristic. Conflict is negative. We have a lot of people that like a lot of conflict. They like to argue all the time, you know, and argue with kids and <laughs> That's a waste of your energy and everybody else's life. It doesn't get anything done. So we're, the next step we need to take, we need to take the step. We need to be able to master classroom management as a process, meaning our system. But then the student management is the development that we have to do within our programs. We've got to build people, their capacity in this area. That's training. See, my greatest uh, complaint, I, I am a trainer, right? So people say, well, you, you believe in training because you do it. Uh, yes and no. I believe in training because I also get it. How do you get better if you don't train? How are we asking people to do things 
to do things, to do things that we don't train them. How is it that we're missing these key areas that people fail in and they don't get help? This is why my, my, my trainings connect with the people because I actually get to the real issue. The evidence that a lot of times, if you watching your training culture, watching your PLCs, watching your training days, watch how many people are bringing their computer to do work at the PD day. Why? Because they are under the assumption that nothing there's going to get there that day is going to help them. It's things we know, things we've heard. So we have are guilty of giving uh, trainings essentially that are in services and not training that grows the organization. I pride myself on tr bringing training content that demands growth. When you come to the gym with me, we gonna break a sweat. We gonna get some work in. We cannot be in these cultures where we have gotten tired <laughs> of, 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 of building our skills. And in this classroom management area, this is something that we have to do. I'm Dr. Jackson here. If you need help with it, this is what we're here to do. Always reach out because you've got to get the first level of doing this is you got to get that staff on the same page. And that occurs with management first. Give me a call if you need my help. Appreciate you. I'll see you in class.